Happy New Year, everyone! It is 2025! Yeah, you thought I was talking about the event that's coming up in a couple of days' uh, time. 2019, goodness me. But uh, it's 2025 in-game already. And uh, we've got a very important match against West Brom at home. And then we've got the big one, the Steel City Derby in the FA Cup. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2019, I'm Joe if you're new around here and welcome to part 8 of Season 7 of The Journeyman with Sheffield Wednesday and in today's episode we take on West Bromwich Albion in the, the, the league and then we take on uh, Sheffield United, our big rivals in the FA Cup third round. Since you were last with us, an unblemished record, 3 wins out of 3, we beat Blackburn 4-3 away from home before beating Sunderland 2-1 uh, at home and then uh, Ipswich 4-3. The last time we kept a clean sheet, incidentally, was all the way back in September. The first game in September, 5-0 victory over Preston. Um, and we've only kept two other clean sheets uh, in all competitions throughout the year, which is absolutely disgraceful. But anyway, uh, that all means that we are... Currently in second place in the league with uh, 52 points from 26 games. We're four points clear of third place Blackburn and uh, <coughs> pardon me and 11 play, uh, points um, ahead of seventh place Derby County. So we're looking good for the playoffs uh, at the very least with 20 games to go. Well, let's have a little look at the team for today. A bit of a rotated side today uh, simply because... Um, of fitness and there's a couple of injuries niggling about as well and you can see some of the conditions it's not ideal to say the least but uh, Nick Pope will start and go with Ralston, Semple, Tiru and Odom Wanyi in defence we then have Kearney and Willock in the midfield with Bruno Brown and Gomez starting behind Sean Maguire up top so let's get into it let's try and win the game it's going to be tough most definitely um, but we'll just have to see how it goes, I guess. Um, you know, West Brom playing a, a very similar uh, formation. I think they're they're quite low down the down down in the league, West Brom, um, and they beat us six one earlier this year, if you remember correctly, um, during our five games to save our job time. Uh, we lost six one to them away from home when we were down to eight men uh, because of injuries and uh, red cards and stuff. So. Yeah, hopefully we can get some somewhat uh, a lot of revenge today. And Maguire puts us 1-0 up. His 21st goal of the season. Absolutely fabulous from him. Uh, and we're 1-0 up already after just a minute on uh, the clock. And it was Willock, a beautiful ball out to Odom Wanyi, who just went uh, across and then Maguire nutted it in and it's 1-0 already. And that is exactly the start that we wanted. And uh, hopefully Brighton can get beat at some point so we can start catching up to them. Um, they, they really are running away with it at the moment and we need to sort of come at them a little bit. But it would be great if we could pick up a clean sheet today you know, with with that in mind of us uh, conceding a goal in every game since the first game in September, you know, it would be a nice way to start the, the new year um, by uh, keeping a clean sheet and we nearly didn't there. That's a good save from Pope, but uh, <sighs> we're just so shaky defensively. Here's Vasquez, he gets it into the middle. Oh, it's a great save once again from Nick Pope over the bar. Another corner now. Here he comes. Vasquez once again into the middle. Pope comes out and he collects it. That's uh, that's solid stuff from Nick Pope there. But coming up to half an hour in, Brighton have gone 1-0 up in their match against Birmingham. The Brummies. So, Odom Wanya gets it into the middle. Here's Bruno now. 
Bruno loses it, but here's Kearney and it's 2-0. Top left corner from Tom Kearney, his second goal of the season. Absolutely brilliant from him. We're 2-0 up within the first half an hour, which was absolutely fantastic and absolutely what we wanted as well. Um, Bruno lost it, but then Kearney, first time shot. Beautiful, beautiful um, goal there from him. Here's Krath, now to Vazquez. Ooh, nice ball out wide. Here's Lewis. Is this going to be the end of our clean sheet chances? Oh, what a save. What a fabulous save, but you can't get that one. Tom Law with the goal, and it's 2-1. And again, we go in search of another clean sheet. And maybe we, maybe that's what we need to do in January. Make some defensive recruitment. Um, you know, maybe that's what's holding us back. Bruno into the middle. It's away. By Kartovic as now he has Semple. What's he going to do with it? Tiru. <clears throat> Semple to Izzy Brown. Now he has Willock. Willock's going to swing it out wide to Tiru. Tiru gets it forward towards uh, Angel Gomez into the middle. Now he has Bruno Maguire. That was a big chance for 3 1. And you've got to say, we're not. We're not comfortable anymore, but here's Tom Kearney with a free kick. Oh, that was just over the bar. Very, very close from Tom Kearney there. Well, here's Krath. Now here's Lowe. Gets it forward. Here's Driver. It's going to be two all. Oh, it's a great save from Pope. And that's what I mean. Pope is making a lot of cracking saves time and time again. But... Uh, you know, if if he's having 10, 15 shots a game to save, then one or two of them are going to go in. And here's Maguire. Ah, oh, you pillock. Really should have finished it there. But there we go, half time. And it is a 2 1. We need to tell them not to get complacent. Very easy uh, when you're ahead to, to just think that's already won. And uh, it happens more often than not in Football Manager. That you, that you lose a lead, and I'm hoping that that's not going to be the case today. We'll tell them to get creative out there. Um, and you know, I'd be quite happy with no more highlights this match. Uh, two of their players have picked up knocks in this match, so a little bit unfortunate for them. 65 minutes gone. <sighs> Willock's going to be the man to come off. We'll put uh, Tunnicliffe on, I guess. Uh, and Bruno can come off as well, and we'll stick Danny Welbeck on and, and swap Gomez around with him. So 25 minutes to go here. Hopefully the, the, the couple of pairs of fresh legs will, will do something good for them. Hmm. 15 minutes to go here. I still feel like West Brom are going to have that one chance uh, and probably equalise. There you go. There it is right there. But it's offside. And it was Peter Driver, the man on a 6.1 before that chance. Um, and then, yeah, he was well offside. Well, I think that's a little bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> he was much more offside than that. But uh, hey-ho, hey-ho. 90 minutes gone now. Um, sorry, 80 minutes gone. 10 minutes to go. I think we're going to take Sean Maguire off. He he hasn't took his chances, so we'll give Callum Wilson a, a little ten minute run out, and it would be uh, be great if we could um, if we could get Callum Wilson a goal at the end of this match. Four minutes of added time now. And it looks like we are just gonna we are gonna just about hold on here. Here's Callum Wilson already on a yellow card. How's he managed that? Good ball to Angel Gomez and once again a tame shot. And we have had some massive chances in this match. But uh, luckily for us, West Brom weren't clinical enough with theirs. So two goals has been enough for us. Here's Odom Wanyi. And there it is. Full time. Another three points in the bag. Very, very important. Especially with Brighton winning as well. We need to keep consolidating. Um, our points tally and, and pushing towards that promotion. Now, for the important match against Sheffield United. 
Well, a couple of changes to talk about for this FA Cup match. We've brought back in Amangwa in the defence. We've brought back in Alan Brown. Tom Kearney has moved into the attack and midfielder role. And uh, everything else stays the same. So hopefully we'll get the same result. It's going to be a good one. Our first derby in charge of Sheffield Wednesday. It is going to be a good one. Um, amazingly enough, this is the, the the club we've spent the longest amount of time at since South Shields. So, um, you know, we're, we're starting to really, really build a, a culture here, just like we did uh, at Shields. And, um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to um, get promotion this year, maybe stabilise them in the Premier League and then perhaps look to move abroad somewhere or or maybe even to a, uh, a higher up Premier League club and, and try and win the, 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 the title that's that's got to be the next game here's Ralston gets it into the middle now Willock, Willock with a chance Willock, oh it's deflected unlucky there, but first of all what we want to do is win this game against Sheffield United who are, are flying high in the Premier League, they're top 10 um, oh my word what a goal that is from Angel Gomez and uh, this this is a real test for us today to see what we can do against a Premier League side. Um, you know, when the pressure's on, we're playing Sheffield United, for goodness sake. It is going to be a huge, huge match. But uh, Angel Gomez doesn't think anything about that and absolutely thumps it home. It's 1-0 already within the first 10 minutes. But we know that we're probably not going to keep, keep a clean sheet. So we've got to be... Very wary about that. Here's Willock. Willock on the ball. What's he going to do with it? He gets it forward. Maguire tries to run onto it. Can't do anything though. And it's cleared nicely. Forward towards... Oh, that's a terrible tackle. Somehow he's got away with it. Here's Gomez. Gomez pushing forward. Again, a good good tackle from Sheffield Wednesday. Odom Wanyi. Now Gomez to Willock. Willock with the shot. And that's just over the bar. Disappointing to shoot from there after that build-up to be quite honest with you but um, 10 minutes in we definitely look the better team at the moment here's Angel Gomez swings it into the middle Bruno's there and it's off the bar that was close and we have had chances early on in this match to pretty much put it to bed but um, alas it hasn't happened yet and uh, we need to keep keep pushing keep going hard uh, suffered a tight hamstring apparently Alan Brown and obviously one of our more important players so we'll keep an eye on that um, throughout the match it says it doesn't say that he's picked up a knock or anything so we'll we'll keep an eye on it Kearney with the free kick that was brilliant Tom Kearney with the free kick his third goal of the season second goal of the episode that was absolutely fabulous he curled it round uh, into the top right corner and, uh, and Sheffield United 2-0 down here to us and that is that's got to be sweet um, for our guys um, but there you go, 2 0 going into half time. Can we hold on to this? And uh, possibly even the clean sheet, which uh, hasn't been blemished just yet. But um, goodness me, this, this could kickstart our season. What a victory this would be. Andreas into the middle, it's a header, and what a save from Nick Pope. That is fabulous. Here's Holberg now. Uh, and Bruno's got it. And now we go on the counter-attack. A good ball forward towards Sean Maguire now. Sean Maguire gets it in. Oh. Well, it's cleared. Now here's Willock. Willock on the ball. What's he doing? <laughs> Brown. Get it out wide. Oh, so, there was so much space. But here's Ralston. And somehow end of highlight. <laughs> Odom one knee. Now uh, Willock. Willock on the ball. Atiru. Now Kearney. Kearney, Gomez, here's Angel Gomez, oh, that's a disappointing shot, if it goes to 3-0, it's pretty much match over at this point, but, uh, well, Kelfi now to Miller, Miller gets it out wide to Andreas, into the middle, Tiru away, here's Haggy now with the shot, just over the bar, very, very fortunate there, I think uh, Callum Wilson is going to come on now, and uh, we'll give him a proper go in this match uh, against Sheffield Wed. Uh, sorry, against Sheffield United. And uh, they've got some good players, uh, United, most definitely. Uh, I know Sean Dyche was in charge of them. Um, and then he 
went somewhere else. I think Leicester City is where he went to. So um, hopefully there his job continues. Oh my word, his good work continues is what I was going to say. Um, but Callum Wilson almost with the goal there. Get creative out there, boys. Come on. Look like we might be able to hold on here. Here's Kelfie into the middle. Oh, why can't we have a clean sheet? Uh, right. I think Bruno's got to come off. We'll stick on Izzy Brown on the right-hand side. But now they're back in the match, and we really could do without a replay. So, you know, if they get back to 2-2, I'd rather they won than than anything else. But 10 minutes to go here. Can we hold on to this victory? And another 2-1 <laughs> on the scorecard. Come on, boys. Come on. A couple of minutes left. Four minutes of added time. think we're just about going to hang on here. Unfortunately, we couldn't hang on to the clean sheet. Are they going to get a last-minute equaliser here? Odom Wanyi gets it away. Come on, ref. Blow your whistle. And he has done it full-time, and we're through in the FA Cup. Remember, we got to the quarter-final of the FA Cup last year, going out to Liverpool 2-1. Um, in the end but that was absolutely fantastic another victory uh this season and a little bit of money in the bank as well which is always wonderful but have a look at this our season is just going from strength to strength look at this run of form right here since the middle of november and we're going from strength to strength and hopefully we'll be able to uh, pick up a couple of players in january and uh and keep going from strength to strength, as, I, as I'm saying. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.